Welcome back to episode two of the 2023-2024 Highland News. This week we'll be covering how to be a responsible student, the Kirkwood Regional Center, and the senior parking spot. Start off this week's episode, we're going to cover how to be a respectful and responsible Highland student. Thank you, Sarah. And now we're going to Malia Fessler on how to be a good Highland High School student. Hello, Malia. How are you today? I'm good. Thanks for having me. Okay. What are some things that you do to be a successful Highland student? To be a successful student, I like to have a planner and use sticky notes to plan out my schedule for the week. All right. What are some struggles that you had coming into high school that you have now learned how to overcome? I had a lot of struggles with time management at first and not knowing um, where I would find time to do assignments. Okay. What are some of your best studying tips? Um, I like to prioritize my classes from either difficulty level or like college level to high school like Kirkwood. Mm -hmm. And then what is some advice that you would give to younger students or now freshmen? I would say to try not to procrastinate as much and to definitely own a planner to use throughout the week. All right. Thank you, Malia. Thank you. information about the Kirkwood Regional Center from Grace. Welcome back Huskies. This week we'll be interviewing some of our students who take Kirkwood classes and what the benefits of those classes are. Today we'll be interviewing Kirkwood student Remington. Remington will be telling us what the class is all about. So Remington, what class are you in and what is it all about? Uh, right now I'm taking the ACE Academy at Kirkwood and we're building modules to represent building a house. Awesome. And why'd you choose that class over others? Uh, because last year in Jim Mondo's welding class, uh, we saw how much fun they were having and it was recommended to me. Awesome, I appreciate your time. Now, an interview with Kirkwood student, Adeline. What class are you taking this year in Kirkwood? Currently, I am in the pre-med human anatomy and physiology course through Kirkwood. And what's your favorite part about this class? My favorite part about the human anatomy course is that it helps me for what I would like to pursue in the future. Would you recommend this class to other students? Yes, I would. I think it's a big step and it really shows you what college is like in the future and if that's what you would like to do. So yes, I do. Thanks for your time. Yep, thank you. Lastly, we're here with Stella. Stella, tell us what academy you're in at Kirkwood. Um, I'm in the Liberal Arts Academy. And do you enjoy this academy? Yes. What's your favorite part about the class? Um, I like all of the options that you get um, to take classes in and the like in-class discussions that we do. Awesome. And how is this class preparing you for your future? Um, it's getting me ahead on college credits for next year. Thank you, Stella. Now that we've heard from some of our students here at Highland, let's go to Kirkwood Regional Center Director, Tara Pickens. Please. Today we're here with Tara Pickens, Director at Kirkwood Regional Center. So Tara, what is your advice to students interested in taking Kirkwood classes? Well, I think my first tip would be everyone should consider the opportunity. Um, oftentimes students are fearful that, that they may not be ready for a college credit class or it's going to be too hard or they're just you know unknown all of the scary stuff but I truly feel that every high school student should come away when they graduate high school with some sort of college credit um, opportunity it's just such a great way for them to explore different career opportunities we offer classes that are not being offered at Highland so it's above and beyond what's already being available at the high school so it's just a win-win. It's a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity, and the classes are free. When are you ever going to take college credit classes for free again? Exactly. I agree. So our next question is, um, we know that Kirkwood offers like companion mm -hmm. and academy courses. Mm -hmm. Are there other options to that? Yeah. So a high school student really can take advantage of three different formats. So, of course, one format that a lot of your high school students are familiar with are the regional center classes. So we have our companion classes. Um, that are a standalone class that are offered usually after a, uh, a career academy time. And then a career academy is actually, actually a package sequence of courses that are packaged in a way um, that are designed to meet like entry level uh, courses of a certain career or pathway type. So those are gonna be face-to-face. -face. A lot of those classes are gonna be hands-on or they're gonna be those lecture style transfer level classes. 
but most of our school partners also offer classes on site at their high school. So that's another format. So for instance, at Highland, you might consider taking How College Works with, right. with the school counselor, mm -hmm. teaching that on site in your building. Anytime a student can take a class in their building, that's a great way to start a Kirkwood class because you're doing it on your own mm -hmm. turf in your yeah. environment and you just feel more comfortable. Um, and then the third option would be online classes. So students can actually take a completely online course where you're not coming to the regional center. Um, you don't have to go to Kirkwood's main campus. You're just finding time in your high school schedule to take the class and then submitting coursework and assignments through Talon. All right, that's awesome. Thank you so much, Tara. Thank you. Hopefully you have learned something new about Kirkwood. Now back to you, Sarah. Thank you, Brayden. Now to Nicholas at a look into the senior parking spots. Thanks, Sarah. Senior parking is a very important part of the senior experience at Highland. Every year, seniors are given the opportunity to purchase a parking spot for $15. When, you, when a senior reserves his or her spot, they're able to create whatever best represents themselves, following a few guidelines. With the guidelines, we have to see. What are some rules and expectations for seniors who want to paint their parking spot? Seniors have to have their design approved, and they have to use exterior paint. They can't paint over the lines. Um, and they can't use spray paint, but we give a list of expectations when they go to sign up for it. And what is the reservation fee used for? The reservation fee is used for NHS fundraising. We use it for our annual dues that we pay every year. We also use it for service projects that we may have throughout the year and induction ceremony expenses. And what is the, where did the idea of senior parking come from? That came from Mrs. Conrad. She was a, the former co-advisor. She had seen another school do this and she thought it would be fun to do at Highland and we thought it would bring kind of a, a fun thing for the seniors to do and a good sense of school spirit. So that is where the idea came from. All right, thank you for your time. Thank you, Nick. So Kelsey, why did you paint your parking spot and why did you choose to paint it that way? Um, I painted my parking spot like a baby blue with uh, daisies and my initials in the middle and I chose to do that because I found it on Pinterest and thought it looked cute. And do you hope to continue doing this for future classes? I do. I think it's a fun tradition for the underclassmen to look up to and it's kind of nice to be able to not worry about having a parking, not trying to find a parking spot when you come back from Kirkwood. Thank you for your time. Thank you boys. Now for some upcoming events. On September 26th, the boys and girls cross country team will travel to Washington. On September 28th, the Fresh Off JV and Varsity Volleyball teams will travel to Hillcrest Academy and take on the Ravens. And on September 29th, the football team has a game in Pekin. October 3rd, we will recognize the Highland Volleyball Seniors for their game against Lone Tree. On October 4th is parent-teacher conferences. October 5th, the boys and girls cross-country team will run at Central Lee, along with volleyball matches at Loise and Muscatine. On October 6th, the Varsity football team will take on the Falcons at Loise and Muscatine. Lastly, Saturday, October 7th, the JV and varsity volleyball teams will travel to Washington for a tournament. We hope you guys had a great homecoming week. Thanks for watching Season 4, Episode 2 of the Highland News. Tune in next week for some more Highland stories.